Welcome to the first video in this year's Declutter. We're going to be starting with lips. There's everything from lipsticks to lip glosses, lip oils, lip pencils. It's all in here. I started with lips because it is the category that I have the most in. Um, now when it comes to decluttering, I am not trying to get rid of a certain number of products. I'm definitely not trying to become a minimalist. Um, I do want to make my collection a little bit more manageable, and then I also don't want to be wasting space with products that I know I don't use. So I'm going to go through these products, I'm going to pick which ones that I'm not going to keep, and because I keep track of how much product I throw away, I'm going to be tallying up the cost of the items that I'm choosing to declutter. And that's going to go into my um, beauty spending series that I'm also working on. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I will not be swatching all of these today because we would be here for forever. I am going to swatch some, like if it's a particularly fun color that I think you should know about, or maybe if it's similar to another shade that I already have. Um, so we're just going to get started. I am going to start by picking out a few that I see on the top that I know for sure that I'm going to be keeping, um, which is like this YSL. It's one of my favorites. So we're going to just put that over here. Also, Gucci. We will not be decluttering any Gucci lipsticks. This Tom Ford isn't a really great color for me, but I think I'm going to do like a review of Tom Ford and other high-end makeups. So I'm going to be keeping this. So this is from Marc Jacobs Beauty and this brand is not available anymore. Um, so I can't recommend the products. Um, however, I still might keep them if they're not expired. This is like a little mini size of the shade Slow Burn and it looks fine smells fine so I'll keep that. We have this Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink. I'm going to keep this. I was working on a blog post about like clear lip glosses which is why I have like three of them so I'm going to keep all three of these. Yeah, I can see already that this product definitely needs to go because it's starting to separate and I've had it for, like for years. I don't know. I'm actually just not very fond of it, so that'll go in the declutter section. I got this rose ink pencil in a kit, so I didn't pick this out personally. I'm not a fan of the formula, but I'm going to keep it in case I do a rose ink review. What is this? Ooh, Hourglass. Definitely keeping this one. Okay, we have the Lawless Forget the Filler. I'm going to keep this. Ooh, look at these. I, I, this I don't really like. These are the NARS Afterglow lip balms. I have them in two different shades. One of them is Dolce Vita. I can't remember the name of the darker shade, but I'm keeping them both. Okay, so we have these two NYX products. One is a soft matte, but I would say it's more satin. And this is a butter gloss. Um, these are like go-to products and I will be keeping them. These e.l.f. core products are really great. I think they're like super affordable. Uh, they come in like four or five different shades and these are the two shades that I use the most. I think I have another one floating around somewhere but I can't find it. I'm going to be keeping these Beauty Pie products. I don't subscribe to Beauty Pie anymore but um, I do really like this lip formula. This is like the Huda gloss. It's really, really good. It has like a really slight color to it, but I would say it's mostly clear. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, we can't keep swatching everything because we'll be here all day. This is a, one of those Rowan lip glosses. I don't, do they still sell this? This is in the shade Charlie. This is really nice. I'll be keeping that. Also, what is this? Pat McGrath. This is a really great gloss. It is a little bit sparkly, more sparkly than I like, but um, the texture is good and the color is good. 
and there are some that are less sparkly than this if you're interested in checking out the formula this one is so old um but it's from lancome it's like one of the first like prs i was ever sent like ever um smells fine it's a pretty shade lip liner is one of those things that i'm just not really into um i should be because i should be overlining my lips because they're really small but i only have like three or four so i'm keeping all of them this product i was gonna do like a post all about sephora products but i really kind of have decided that i don't want to do that because it was just kind of a boring concept to me and i couldn't find enough good things that i really liked and i was tired of wasting my money this color it's you know it's not a bad color for the right person it's just not the right color for me so this is going because i will never use this i know i have another one of these kosas lip oils but i don't know where where it is i'm keeping that this is a really great formula i think this is a dupe for another high-end product that I have um, already put away in my stash here. Um, yes, this is really nice. And it is in the shade Be Outstanding. Great color. Okay, this is another one of those Sephora collection things that I was um, thinking about reviewing. I'm going to, yeah, I'll keep it. The formula is nice and soft. This is the color Reach Shine in the shade Varnished Rosewood. And I don't think you can get this formula anymore. Um, but I'm not decluttering it because it's like one of my favorite lipsticks. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. So these are, what are these called? The Lip Cushion Treatments from M Cosmetics. I did like last year, like a wear test or first impressions of M Cosmetics um, that I can link in the card to you, but I will spoil it and say, not a huge fan of the brand. Um, she does a lot of warm tone colors. These colors don't look very good on me. Um, this formula is great if you can find a color that works. Okay, so we're revisiting the Marc Jacobs situation. I love both of these. Um, this one though, I'm pretty sure is expired. Yes. So that one is gonna go. And then this one, let me smell it. This one is still fine. I can, I probably have another few months that I can use this. So I'm gonna try to use it up. This is the, a new, one of those Tarte lip plumps keeping that this is another beauty pie lip gloss i was going to compare it to the glossier lip gloss i just haven't gotten around to it so i'll be keeping it love these love these nars sticks so i'll definitely be keeping these these are like the little mini sizes This Rare Beauty, and this is a little, little deluxe sample, I'm keeping it so that I can remember to purchase this in the full size. Um, it's really great for the pur for your purse to carry like with you because it's so tiny. Clinique Black Honey, gotta keep that. This is like a little tr travel size of the Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I have two Kosa's um, lip products. These are like little um, travel sizes, I think. Um, these are really great for a clean beauty lipstick if you're into that kind of thing. The formula is really nice. So this is the Cream Fenty um, lip product. I'm not the biggest fan of this formula, but since I had to declutter this other one, since it's expired, I'll keep this one. Okay. I don't usually do like these two color things, but I decided 
I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is a YSL like little sample, definitely keeping that. This is from Aether Beauty. This color was probably not the best color pick. Um, I am gonna be doing a review of Aether Beauty, um, so I'm gonna hold on to this. This is supposed to be a dupe for some Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, but I can't remember um, which one. This is shade number two. Let me see what that looks like in comparison to the, the pillow talk. It looks a little bit too pink. So, yeah, it's definitely not a dupe, but similar vibes. Okay, what is this? Spicy Mauve. I'm sorry for how gross this is. Um, this is really nice. I'm keeping it. This is a matte from Maybelline. Matte lips are going to be coming back. We've been doing a lot of like glosses lately, um, but matte will be in your life again before you know it. Um, so I'm going to keep this. And then this is just like a tinted um, thing from Fresh. I don't know if they make this particular one again, um, but I'm going to keep it until I'm done with it. We've emptied the bin and we have a total of five products to declutter. Um, I would say this is probably approximately a hundred dollars worth of product. Um, so that's kind of crazy to think we just went through 50 ish lipsticks and I'm going to be decluttering a hundred dollars worth of product. So that is all for the lips and I'm not sure which one we're going to do next in my declutter series, uh, probably eyeshadows, um, since I have quite a few of those. If you enjoyed this series, please consider subscribing. Um, and I think you might like um, this video right here next.